Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React and the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about build a drag drop image uploader with the React drop zone and upload that image to the backend server, okay, in the respective directory. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the functionality of the drag drop files here. So here I'm going to drag some of the files. Let's so Let's see uncaught reference error. I'm going to drag this file and this is uploaded in the backend section. If I go in the backend here, we have this. So we have uncaught error, reference error, right? The image is uploaded, right? Okay. And there we have uses the React drop zone, right? So let's dive into the code level. So here we have the app.js file, right? So you need to install the React drop zone. And this is the package of that one. And you can see that the downloads is pretty much good. So that means it's popular library. Then you can use it. Okay. <coughs> the installation processes are also there. Right. You have to install the React drop zone. Then we have a system of that one. So I have made something different. So here we have the, <coughs> we have using the exos for the AP call. Here we have the files and the set files. Use state by default empty on drop. So here we are accepting the file. So this is basically the multiple files upload. So I'm just using the one part. Okay. So then we are sending the form data in the new and append the, all the files that we have. Okay. And then this is the Exos API call. If we are calling the upload Node.js backend code over here and contain to type to be multi-part form data and response that file uploaded successfully. If something goes wrong that will comes into the catch block. Okay and this is the drop zone on drop okay get root props get input props so here we have that one okay and this is the p tag that we are using drag and drop files here okay then the drop zone component to be in the end of that one okay close that one okay and here we are files dot map file name and the file size so we are dropping the files name and the file size also okay that you are always showing over here okay this one right so you can also drag multiple files also over here so here if i go and just drag multiple files <coughs> let's suppose uh, this image and this image i want to upload so let's drag this two files uploaded stripe payment integration uploading image using malta okay and if i go to the back end <coughs> folder i will show you here where it is okay and this is upload an image using uh, angular multer and the stripe payment okay the images are uploaded over successfully the multiple images part you can also go with that one okay so this this that one is the front end code that is built in the react part so this is basically the app.js file export that default okay then we have the back end code okay so here we have the multer we are using for the file upload right so express multer fs and here we have a multi disk storage. The destination path would be the upload. So make, make sure the upload folder should be there into your directory. File name. So we are using the same file name of that one. Okay. Then we have upload multi storage. Then this is the API app dot post. So it, it, it accepts the array, not the single. So if you mention over single, it will accept one file. If you mention array, then it needs multiple files to upload. Okay. If the upload files is not there, then means no files uploaded. Okay. Else we are just uh, looping that each and every files and trying to upload, save that into the uploads directory with the file name. Okay. Else something goes wrong, then we are console, console dot error, error renaming the file and uh, error saving the files spawn status 500. Else we are showing that files uploaded successfully. And here you can see that also uh, when I try to inspect that one in the network. Okay. <coughs> so here you can also get to know about that the files upload also. I will show you. Login UI. So here you can see that. So here you can see the responses request is file uploaded successfully. Okay. <coughs> and here we have response and file uploaded. Okay, so this is how we are able to do the file upload using the React drop zone and the Node.js multer. 
any doubt any query in that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day